Well, what a pleasure. I'm joined now by the EBMT's president, still president, uh, Mohamed Moti. Uh, Mohamed, welcome. Thank you. Good morning. Thank you very much indeed for taking time out of your busy schedule. To Always talk to a us pleasure. Today. Thank you. So tomorrow is the end of your presidency. Yeah, it's just a see you later, <laughs> I would say. So I'm dedicated to EBMT and I think we still has too much to do. You've still got plenty to do. Yeah. Plenty. So in your report and in the various speeches, uh, you've been talking about the three A's. What do you mean by the three A's? Well, this is something that is becoming more and more important uh, in medicine in general, but most importantly in oncology. Uh, we are living in a true revolution from a therapeutic perspective with plenty of novel agents coming. Some of them are really curative, breakthrough novel molecules. Problem we are facing is the availability of these drugs, accessibility, but also affordability. Right. This is what I would call personally the 3A dilemma. And I think we as a society, physicians, all stakeholders, including patients, we should work very hard to make it happen. The drugs need to be available to all patients. They need to be accessible everywhere and we need to be able to afford them. What's the EBMT's role in, in this? I think the EBMT has been very active to promote uh, the uh, 3A uh, problem uh, because our role is to advocate for patients. All patients who are in need for a given drug, whether new or old drug, they should get it. This is what we believe. And this is the reason we were engaged permanently, I would say, but this has been accelerated recently in a campaign, public campaign, with decision makers, regulatory authorities, to try to explain all of these challenges. We, of course, we have our newsletters, we organize face-to-face -face meeting, committees, we published position statements in peer-reviewed journals, we launched a petition, so I think we've been extremely active on this front and we start seeing some interesting results. One of the things, as you come to the end of your uh, presidency, one of the things that's grabbed me has become how global EBMT is now as an organization. Yeah, you're absolutely right. And that was part actually uh, of my manifesto uh, when I was candidate to be president. Uh, I thought, of course, the name EBMT is European and it will remain, that's no question. But our field has no border anymore. Uh, uh, I think the transplant field, the cellular therapy field, uh, there are no walls, there are no separation. We are very keen to tackle uh, the issues of our field beyond Europe and this is what we need. We need to put everybody together. It is United Nations against these terrible diseases and to allow patients who need a transplant, who need a cellular therapy, to get it. One of the other developments over the last four years has been the rise of social media and uh, digital uh, media. And I know you've just recently brought out a, a couple of apps and one of them uh, is VOD app. Can you talk us through that a little bit? Yeah, I think in general, social media is here to stay and we have to live with that. I know some colleagues in the medical field are rather conservative, but whether we like it or not, we have to live with it. This is the modern era. This is how the younger generation would like to communicate. And I'm very proud that we have introduced at EBMT several years ago for the first time a special session about social media. But it's not only about social media, it's also about digital medicine. Right. It's about dissemination. And of course you can disseminate knowledge with publications, with congresses, presentations, posters, but also you can disseminate knowledge through new tools, IT tools, and this is where now we are launching these series of apps. So uh, these are tools to facilitate uh, the education of the physician and other health care professionals. So we have the GBHD uh, app, which has been launched, and is working nicely and we have just launched during this meeting the VOD app. VOD is a serious, difficult, complex complication rare after transplant. 
diagnosis is very challenging. Uh, the criteria are rather uh, complicated. This is why having an app to make it simple, uh, to make it easy for people to become familiar with the way with great GVHD is clearly uh, something of importance. And we are really very proud launching this EBMT educational tools. We have now the infrastructure, we have the platform, and we can build on it. But the VOD app is like, you know, the starting point. And it has been a very great one. Thousands of people already downloaded it. Well, Mohammed, thank you very much indeed for joining us as ever. And uh, look forward to the next four years. Thank you. Thank you very much. And thank you for all what you're doing to our meeting. You're always most welcome. Thank you. Thank you.